Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff. And today we got another 12 packs. Well, soon to have 12 packs to open up here of Rising Star. Do another 12 pack for all of you. Uh, so again, I started playing this game January 31st, early afternoon. Uh, I'm recording this February 18th at 6.32 p.m. So I've been playing for 18 days and like five or six hours. Um, up to level 59, uh, once my current uh, gig completes, my current mission, uh, I'll be at level 60. I'll be over in about two hours. Uh, I expedited my growth by getting some uh, XP boosts. Uh, but if you want me to go over more detail on like growth paths or like best practices to get started, uh, let me know what I can do with our video for that. Um, I have had a chance that I still want to like look more into peaked as well. I mean, like, do a blog post thing on that or whatever. Uh, so, maybe that'll be a thing soon too. I was going to do, like, my first week, my first 10 days, my first two weeks on Rising Star when I was 18 days. So, we'll see. But, yeah, I hit level 50 a few days ago, obviously, so not too bad. And I also now have the Star Bits Millionaire card. Uh, you can get that if you're requesting the Discord when you, you have and hold a million Star Bits in your hive wallet so you can see i've got 55,470 star bits in game right now uh i currently also have 1 million 100,001 star bits uh in hive engine so i'm gonna use 100,000 of those for 12 packs uh because in order to use the star bits mission uh star bits card to do that mission daily i have to continue to hold a million star bits as i understand it so while i would love to use more of those star bits for more packs I don't want to spend more than a hundred thousand one of those currently uh but i also i have i think forty thousand uh withdrawable from the mission so far so uh basically by this time tomorrow or even later today basically my this mission i can do the star bits one again i could do another 12 packs because i had to have over a hundred thousand star bits in game until i could withdraw and then use those but anyways let's go and buy some packs shall we so we're going to do the 12-pack again using Star Bits because uh, well, that's what we're going to do. I haven't really paid attention to couple days. I don't... Let's see. I don't think there's been new cards yet. I forget what... Is it the first of every month they have new cards or like every Monday? I don't think it's every Monday. Because I don't think they have a new since like for this week. So I could be wrong, but uh, please confirm for me. Because I know there was new cards on the first days I was playing. So maybe it was the, the day after I started, February 1st. Um, might be the first of every month. But I could have sworn I saw someone say, like, New Card Monday or something, but I don't know. Anyways, let's buy 12 packs. And then I get a pop-up, buy 12 packs for 1,000 Star Bits. Confirm. Okay. Close that. And if I remember, I'll have to refresh this, because then I'll get an open button up in this area. So if I hit refresh, start a mission. Uh, actually go to buy packs. <laughs> hmm. See, my, all my star bits are gone. My star bits are gone, so I just gotta uh, give it a minute here. Uh, ba -ba 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 there we go. Open! I've had good luck so far. Not to jinx it, but uh, hopefully the good luck continues. Uh, slight spoiler alert. Each of the previous 12 packs I did, I had at least one card that was better than a rare in each one. So I'll say that much. So here in our very first pack, we got a rare that we did not already have, Drabs, who is a streamer. I've actually seen stream once or twice already because I saw the, like, the alert within the Rising Star game. So uh, not sure if I have Firefly or not yet. I have Jared, but I like that card because it's got no fans and 20 skill. And uh, my fan count is outpacing my skill count. Uh, so... I want to get more skills and fans to keep my ego in check. So I don't mind having more Jareds. And basically my, my strategy right now is when I get duplicates, um, if it's a duplicate and the card does not have more skill than fans, I try to sell it. So bow, I think I have a bow. So I'll probably try to sell it because it's got 15 fans, 5 skill. Uh, so that's, I more fans helps, but I also want to keep my ego in check and I want to, you know, keep recouping star bits so I can, you know, buy more packs faster and stuff too. So it all kind of works hand in hand. 
and our rare is a diamond mic. Uh, so something I didn't realize initially, initially, is that uh, these kind of cards, the instruments, uh, they are utilized uh, towards the I can't think of that game. The the music missions, the training or I'm bad. Um, so basically, the more you have of like one type of instrument, the more skill points you can get when you do that type of mission. So, like the microphone, I believe helps the the um, singing lesson one or whatever you want to say. So, if you have a ton of microphones, then you would get more skill points when you do that mission than you do like the drum or piano lessons, for instance. So, uh, one strategy is to you know sell all your instruments of that you get except for one type and like then you use those star bits to buy more instruments of the one type you're heaviest on and just you know always do that one kind of mission basically all right that's another new rare for us uh felipa 50 fans 150 skill four luck two i am so that's a nice one for us good ratio uh trudy i've sold a few for before 10 fans one skill i had four of her from like the first batch i think and clinton 10 and one so i'll probably be looking to sell both of those as soon as I'm done with this video. Mr. and Mrs. Wolf, that is another new rare for us. Like, I, I don't think I was missing that many rares, at least not for, uh, for, like, the people. But now we've gotten pretty much all the people that I know of that I need. I still need the uh, the male rapper, though, which is a good one, because I think it's got 50 fans, 200 skill. I've got the female rapper as, like, my default card, or if you want to say right now. And then both of our commons have more skill than fans. So pretty solid, pretty solid. I miss Mrs. Wolf have more fans and skill, but it's what I didn't have yet, so still good to get. Game Boy Ali. I think I have one of that. I think. And a couple of duplicate comments that have 10 fans and no skill, no luck, no I am, so a couple more that I'll be looking to sell. And if this is a duplicate, I'll be looking to sell him as well. I believe. Blade Song. I don't think I had Blade Song. 125 fans, 75 skill, 3 luck, 2 IM, and then a pair of busters. So we're getting some good skill boosts here in our common slots pretty frequently. Not sure overall for this opening so far if we have more fans or more skill, but doing it not too shabby. Desmond. I don't think I had Desmond. We get like no duplicate rares. I'm not complaining, just to be clear. Now, a lot of have more fans and skill, but not like by a gross differential, you know? Stewie might be a common that I needed too, actually. And he's got more skill than fans, so nice. I think I had I had at least one cheap car for sure. For sure. James. Did I have James? I don't know if I did. He's got more skill than fans, so either way, that's a keeper for me. And another Stewie, which would be keeper because more skill. And another tree that I'd be looking to sell. Kind of getting close to the end here. So at least one more after this. All right. Ooh, there we go. We got the seasonal Juliet again. Nice. I haven't looked the last several days. I assume the the value has come down a bit as more have entered the market and stuff. But um, I believe uh, the challenge or the mission or whatever for her, I think that ends on the 28th or 24th. So in, in a week, 10 days or less. Uh, and then I assume we'll only go up again thereafter. So... Not a bad one to get. And I mean, his brother didn't get in a common, so. Then we got a rare touring coach, which I don't already have. Uh, but I think all the vehicles, I don't think any vehicles have skill. They have only fans. Um, <laughs> only fans. Uh, so, I mean, it's not a bad card. Just, I need to get more skill, basically. And that's one reason why I keep doing more packs, is so I can hopefully get some more instruments to, you know, bolster how much skill I get when I do those missions. So, now have to work actively towards like you know getting extras of one kind so I get you know extra skill through one particular mission. And there we go, another rare instrument. And so I, I'm not positive these would be the same ones. I, I'm I'm not a musician by any means. I don't sing well either. I try, but I I'm bad, real bad. Um, did I have Bluey? I might have had Bluey. I don't think I had mid-range decks though. So at least two new cards in that pack. I'm going to guess this next one's the last pack. Because it feels like I've opened a lot. 
Feels like it. Nope, there's still at least one more. Frederico, I think I got him last opening, but equal fan to skill count, so not too shabby. And then a pair of duplicate commons for me with 10 fans and no skill. So two more that will be going up for sale momentarily. Last pack? Okay, here's the last pack. Another Juliet. All right. So, uh, again, spoiler alert uh, for my previous 12-pack openings. This will be my first 12-pack opening with no epics. But we got two Juliets and a lot of rares we didn't already have. I think a couple of commons we didn't have yet either. So uh, I'd say a pretty solid pack opening all in all. Uh, Leon is a duplicate, just FYI to confirm. So I'll be putting that for sale as well. I will keep the Juliets. Um, I'm hoping I do several more openings uh, ASAP. I believe if you get 10 Juliets, you can combine them into like an animated version. Which actually, let me show you that one here. So let's go cards, your collection. And someone asked in the comments on my previous video for Rising Star, um, if you buy cards or packs and you don't see them, you have to go to this page. You didn't see it, but I got a little pop-up that said updating cards on it. You have to make sure that you have pop-ups enabled for Rising Star. So whenever you buy packs and open them or you buy singles, you have to go to this page with pop-ups enabled and then it will update and populate into your inventory. Otherwise, they won't ever actually show up there. That happened to me on my first video, which I think you guys may have seen if you watched the first one that I did. I was like, where did my cards go? I also didn't know how to open my packs right away. So, But we live and we learn, and then we get loves. So hopefully that helps some of you who are struggling or haven't reached that yet, but would have struggled if you didn't know. So there you go. So let's see. For commons here, I st I'm still missing a couple. Looks like three commons that are available. I still haven't pulled a Faye, a Claudio, or a Tommy. It looks like they all have more fans and skills, so uh, it's okay if those are ones I haven't pulled yet. I'd like to give them eventually, obviously, but uh, yeah, they're, they're less than half released so far, so I'm sure I'll get them sooner rather than later. Not too big a deal. Let's see. Yeah, last time I got the Epic Hamish. I know it's a little cop on the screen there, but so let's see. Any rares we're still missing here? So rare 127 is discontinued, so I won't be pulling that one. Luthien is getting close. So I have not pulled rare number 132 heady yet, which is 100 fans, 125 skills. I'd like to get that one. Did not pull Papa the Rapper yet. 50 fans, 200 skill. I've only gotten one of Cheney the Rapper. So, oh no, I have two Cheneys. Mabi. Mabi. But yeah, I think those are the two best rares you can get as far as having the best skill to fans ratio at 4 to 1. Um, so yeah, looks like those are the only two rares I have not yet pulled. At least that are people. At least that are people. And Juliet, I have three now. And yeah, here is the animated one, which if you, I think, get ten of them, uh, then you can, if you get ten of the regular Juliets, you can craft them, merge them, whatever you want to say, into this animated version, which has the same stats as ten Juliets. Luck goes from four to forty. I am from one to ten. Fans and skill goes from one fourteen to one point one four. So... It's as good as having 10 Juliets, but it'll be more rare. Uh, as you saw there, there's only 10 of those issued so far. Whereas the regular Juliet, there are 918 right now. So I would love to end up with 10 of these. Well, love to end up with these 11 so I can have the regular and the animated version. That would be the ideal, I think. And let's just take a quick peek here at our instruments as well. You can see a couple more of the epics I've gotten previously. So yeah, I pulled three epics in my first 24 packs. Now first 36 overall. Uh, and three Juliets. So I've gotten six cards that are seasonal or epic in 36 packs. Which beats the odds. Um, you get basically one in 12 packs on average from what I researched firsthand. Not a massive sample size, but like at least a one full day sample size. Like 800 to 1,000 packs, something like that. So... Gives me a decent rough idea, but about 1 in 12 packs is better than a rare and two commons. Uh, a few of those times, you'll get two rares in a common. Most of those, it's either an epic or a seasonal, and super hard to get our legendary. Legendaries seem to be like 1 in 1,000, 1 in 2,000. It's Legendaries are rough. If you get a legendary, be thrilled. <laughs> just straight up, just be thrilled. 
Uh, but yeah, you can see there's several commons I've not yet pulled for instruments. Um, so that one's discontinued. That one's not discontinued yet, but I've, I've got it. Just the one. So assuming that all the ones that are higher numbers um, are still improved without clicking each one, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different commons I've not yet pulled for instruments. And I think we said there was two people, so there's nine commons I don't have yet. So still a lot of new cards for me to get of lower rarities as well. And then as for rares, so I was 141. So we got 141 through 146 here. And yep, we already had the RS Blues. We got two of those now. Um, so, so we're missing Sitar, and that's possibly it. So we got almost all the rare instruments then. Nice. So yeah, um, we, we should have more skill points for a couple of different art challenges now. I can't look right now because I'm in a standard mission for right now. So yeah, music lessons, that's what. If I didn't call them that before, they're called music lessons. Um, that's where you can earn skill points. They are, they take 40% of your um, energy and they take an hour each. And I currently get, I think, 600 XP for each. I don't know where the base rate is, but because I have the XP boosts, I think 600 is more than it typically is for those. So if, if you play and you see a much lower XP amount than you see on mine, that's because I have the XP boosts, which I think I paid like 29 to 32 um, hive per. So like they're, they're not cheap, but they're also in short supply, discontinued, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, these XP boosts here, you can see I've got five of them. And currently the cheapest is 250,000 star bits or 55 high. It's like they'll probably only continue to go up in price. I've been considering getting more of these. These have been there for a bit. There was an 101 for 450. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just gonna get that one. There's only a hundred of these XP boost 100s. And if you have these, you will level up a lot faster than if you don't. Like, I've been eyeing up this 450 one because that one, 450 hive for 100 XP boost, is a better deal than 238 hive for a 50 XP boost. And it's also better than any of these. I, I have to do the math on the star bits versus hive, but yeah. Uh, let me let me just refresh this now. <laughs> just 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 blindly just throwing. That that was three hundred dollars, wasn't it? I didn't really think about it. Just like oh, that seems like a good deal. It's okay. I have I have like two thousand hives sitting there. Been selling some untamed packs here and there from Spoilers and stuff. So you know it's. So I sold some vouchers uh, on the current spikeage and stuff. I still got got plenty of vouchers though. So I, I can I can recoup it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so that didn't change here, but I think after this ends, that will change. Um, you'll have to wait until my next video to see uh, how things look different. But I'll try to remember to like, compare and be like, yeah, before I bought that, it was 666 XP. Now it's... We'll have to wait and see, I guess. I'll know in uh, less than 100 minutes. 98 and a half minutes. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, actually, I didn't go collecting yet. So actually, might update for us. We just didn't, didn't get it updated into our system yet here. So yeah, boosters. We, we, we've got the XP. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's let's go right back then. It was at six six six. Is it gonna change it away? Sixteen sixty five. So from buying that, I now get a thousand extra XP on this particular mission. And uh. Just FYI, so a thousand XP um, is like a quarter. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let me just refresh this to make sure it's all up to date. Do, 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 do. So 23. So basically, a thousand star bits is 23 cents. So every time I do that mission, I get 23 cents. I paid 300 
Hive for the 100 XP boost. Um, so just to say this is just say this is a quarter, just to make it easier for math. Um, that means you take 1,200 missions of a thousand star bits extra to recoup that purchase, and then it's you know extra profit thereafter. So it's it's an investment that in theory will be recouped in time, and then I'll make gains thereafter. And plus, I can always sell the XP boost card if I so choose. So I I could recoup you know a hundred hive worth, and then possibly sell that card for five hundred hive, and you know thus profit three hundred hive and be gravy but anyways uh that's probably enough rambling for this video if you want more details please let me know uh, i'm happy to answer questions in the comments as well i try to pay attention when i get comments and reply to the ones that you're replying to obviously like the one the other day that asked about how to make the card show up which i answered in this video as well uh but yeah uh hopefully i'll maybe start doing a few occasional posts on peaked about this and or Splinterlands, but we'll see. Uh, if you don't already play this game, you can find my referral link down below for this game and Splinterlands. Please, please, please use those if you don't already play, because, you know, you might, you might as well. It doesn't cost you anything to use my referral link, so you might as well use someone's. Might as well. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time, whenever that, whenever, and wherever. <laughs> Forgot my, my phrase. I'll see you next time, whenever, and wherever that may be. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, because that's free too. So just do it.